It's an honor to uh, be in front of you and ask for your approval for AB 27, bill that would bring about more doctors, more doctors to an area that is in vital need of more physicians. I, I don't think there was anybody in this room who would disagree that California is facing a shortage of doctors. And in no region in California is that shortage of doctors more serious than in the Inland Empire, in Riverside County. Uh, we have uh, constituents of mine who have to ride on a bus for probably more than two hours, then come to clinics which are crowded and wait several other hours in order to uh, attain medical treatment. And now with the Affordable Care Act, we will see the uh, demand for doctors rising even more. I'm the founding dean of the UCR School of Medicine, and I appreciate the opportunity of addressing the entire committee uh, about the urgency for the creation of our medical school, which received preliminary accreditation five months ago and is the first public medical school in California in 48 years. Now, uh, Assemblyman Medina mentioned some of the issues around the shortage of physicians, so let me just point out certain facts. The state of California has only 17 med school slots per 100,000. The U.S. average is 31. So our state has only about half the med schools that the average would have. We are fourth from the bottom in the number of med school slots per capita among states that have a medical school. The biggest problem in California is not only a shortage of physicians, but a maldistribution of physicians and a maldistribution of the specialties of physicians. Remember that primary care doctors are, are particularly important because primary care doctors are the only doctors you can add to your community that decrease your costs and increase your quality. And the primary care doctors are particularly important at this juncture in our history because they're the front line necessary for the implementation of the Affordable Care Act, which is coming in 2014. Now, it is important to recognize that that shortage exists in inland Southern California. We currently have a 3,000 physician shortage in inland Southern California. They may not have a meaning to you, but the entire state of Indiana has a 2,000 physician shortage, but Indiana is just getting older. Inland Southern California is getting older. It's the fastest growing area of the state. It's the third fastest growing area of our country. And unfortunately, 40% of the doctors in our area look like me. They're 55 years of age or older and will not be practicing in 10 years. Add on top of that, that Inland Southern California will have 500,000 newly insured lives in 2014. Now on the primary care front, we today only have half the primary care doctors we have. We will only have a third that we need in 10 years because of the dynamics I just told you. And because of the implementation of the Affordable Care Act, we'll only have a quarter of the primary care doctors we have. When you have that degree of primary care shortage, they no longer do primary care. They have to do urgent care. And much of the value of the implementation of the Affordable Care Act is therefore lost. So it is critical from a manpower standpoint, both in the short term and the long term, to have this medical school not only succeed, but survive long term.